The Bible says, don't let anyone think less of you because you are young. Be an example to all believers in what you say, in the way you live, in your love, your faith, and your purity. We've got an example today on Spirit 105.3. Dax is a fourth grader at King Schools in Shoreline. They're one of our sister ministries here at Krista. And he's also my boss's son. Her name is Chana. She's the VP of Krista Media. We think your mom's pretty cool, right? Yeah. (laughs) So Dax, you and your class did something really cool the other day. You guys were praying for people you've never met on behalf of another one of our sister ministries, World Concern. What happened? Okay, so we were praying about South Somalia and what is the other one? Kenya yeah. and Haiti. And I think you guys were praying for South Sudan too. Mm-hmm. And we were praying about those. And then after I went up to my teacher and said, that was really special to me. And then I hugged her and I put my head to her shoulder. And that was like the best feeling. It was like so like calming and I liked it. Okay, Dax, that is so cool. You and your class prayed for kids and moms and dads living in these faraway places and they're hungry and they don't have hope either, but you prayed for them and God heard you. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel happy that they're getting the stuff that they need. Yeah. And that they're also hearing about Jesus. Jesus, Right, Dax? Yeah. What does Jesus mean to you? Because I can tell you love him a whole lot. I love him because he hears everything I say, and he's with me 24-7. You know, I got to say, you put that pretty well. And look who just walked in, Dax, your teacher. Welcome. Have a seat. We're going to get you on a mic here. Tina is a fourth grade teacher at King Schools, our sister ministry, right up the street from Spirit 105.3. I know you're so proud of Dax. I see tears in your eyes this morning. You're the heart behind these beautiful moments that are happening in your classroom. How did this one come about? Well, for Christmas Prayer Week, we decided that we wanted to uh, make a connection with World Concern, our partner in ministry. Yeah. So we had them send us some prayer requests. They typed up a set of prayer requests for each country and sent them to us, and we distributed them to the kids in our classroom, and we talked about those requests. Also, how they were just so different than the kinds of things we're facing. Yeah. Um, But it was really important to see those requests for real people in real circumstances. Yes. Um, I wasn't exactly sure what to expect from the students, but when they went into group prayer time and they kind of popcorn prayed out, it was pretty amazing to listen to them. The emotional maturity, the spiritual sincerity with which they prayed was very touching. It touched your heart. Yes. And you realize like these kids are going to grow up someday and change the world. Yes. For Jesus. Very much so. And what's so beautiful about the Krista connection there is what touched me, I think, was that we're really a partnership of ministries. Mm -hmm. And it ends up kind of making us a microcosm of the body of Christ yes. in a larger context. Yes. Um, so the students praying for someone else in the ministry is so sincerely and just that they're getting that opportunity for real connections there that show them how to be part of the body of Christ. And they really demonstrated that well that day. Yes, they did. I feel like prayer can be such an abstract thing, whether you're a child or a grown up, but it's really just a conversation. Like I like to say a continual text thread between Jesus and I. Yes. Right? Yes. That was on display in the classroom. Do you like that, Dax? Yeah. (laughs) That's awesome. Tina, why do you do what you do? Well, it was a great reminder that day of why Mm. I do what I do, because the thing that matters most is our relationship with Jesus and being able to open up opportunities for the students to have that be real in their lives. The Krista family of ministries being kind of that microcosm of the greater body of Christ and seeing how they responded to that just confirmed why I want to be here and why I do what I do. Tina, thank you for doing what you do. Thank you. Dax, thank you for just loving Jesus out loud. That's what you're doing. Yeah.